the present perfect progressive. To learn more about this verb tense, you should look in your textbook. Read charts 4-6 and 4-7. Chart 4-6 will give you an explanation of the verb tense. Chart 4-7 will explain how the present perfect progressive is different from the present perfect. You will also need to read chart 1-6 back in chapter 1 on page 17 for an explanation of non-progressive verbs. First, what is the present perfect progressive? It's a verb tense that describes events that began in the past and continue to the present. For instance, I have been looking for my wallet for 20 minutes. I began looking for my wallet 20 minutes ago in the past, and I am still looking for my wallet now. Present perfect progressive. Next example. Susan has been working at the company since 1998. She began working at the company in 1998, and she still works at the company now. As you can see, we use either has or have, plus been, plus the ing form of the verb. And we almost always use since or for. You might have noticed that this verb tense seems very similar to the present perfect, and it is. I will explain the difference between these two verb tenses in just a minute. First, let's do some practice. Read the following sentences and fill in the blanks with the present perfect progressive form of the verb in parentheses. Let's look at our answers. First one, what have you been doing for the past hour? To make a question, it's just the same as the present perfect. We just take the has or have auxiliary verb and place it in front of the subject. What have you been doing as opposed to what you have been doing? Next one, I have been checking Facebook. Have plus been plus the ing form of the verb. And finally, she has been driving since 2 o'clock. Notice how driving is spelled? We drop the e and add ing. Now, what's the difference between the two tenses? In many ways, the present perfect and the present perfect progressive are very, very similar, but they cannot always be used exactly the same. Sometimes it doesn't matter which verb tense you use. Both verb tenses can refer to an event that began in the past but continues to the present. Look at the two examples. I have lived in Norfolk for one year. I have been living in Norfolk for one year. Both sentences are correct. The meaning is not different. They mean exactly the same thing. It does not matter which tense you use. Both mean that this person still lives in Norfolk. Now let's look at how they're different. The present perfect only can refer to an event that happened at a non-specific time in the past. Do you remember that the present perfect has two meanings? We learned the first meaning, which is exactly like the present perfect progressive but the present perfect also has a second meaning, and that is nothing like the present perfect progressive. It is completely different. Look at the examples. I have already taken a shower. In this sentence, it's an event that happened in the past. It was finished in the past. It is no longer happening. The only thing is we don't know when it happened. That's when we use the present perfect. We would not say, I have already been taking a shower. That does not work. So when you see those adverbs, already, yet, before, many times, the ones I discussed earlier, then you know that you need to use present perfect and not present perfect progressive. Now the present perfect progressive can only be used, usually, with most action verbs. So for instance, 
I have been talking to my sister for an hour. That's correct, but you would not say, I have talked to my sister for an hour. Now, you're probably wondering why, and there's not a good reason why that second sentence is wrong, but in general, verbs that describe an action need to use the present perfect progressive. Let me show you a few more examples in a minute. Let's look at non-progressive verbs. This is when you need to go back to your textbook, page 17, and read chart 1-6 about non-action verbs. There are some verbs that cannot be used with ing. If that is the case, then you have to use the present perfect. You cannot use the present perfect progressive. If, on the other hand, you can use ing with the verb, then you should use ing with the verb. Let's look at the examples. In simple present, you would say, I know David. But you would not say, I am knowing David, right? You can't use ing with the verb know. Look at the third sentence. I have known David since 2011. Do we still know each other? Yes, of course we do. But I would not say, I have been knowing David since 2011. That's because I can't use ing with the verb know. It's a non-progressive verb. You need to study the chart on page 17 so that you will know which verbs take ing and which verbs don't. Let's try some examples. For these sentences, you need to decide. Should you use the present perfect or the present perfect progressive form of the verb? Let's look at the answers. For the first two sentences, Daniel has already eaten breakfast. This is a case where we have an event that happened in the past and it's finished. He is not eating breakfast right now. He already ate breakfast in the past. The thing is, we don't know when he ate breakfast, so we use the present perfect, has eaten. On the other hand, the second sentence, takes place over a length of time, and it is still happening. Daniel has been eating breakfast for 20 minutes. That action began 20 minutes ago, and it is still happening right now, in the present. So we need to use the present perfect progressive. And because this is an action verb, and we can use ing with action verbs, then we should use ing, and we should not use the present perfect here. Let's look at the second set of sentences. Grace hasn't finished her homework yet. Did you remember yet? We can only use yet with questions and negative sentences. So you need to add not to your sentence. Also remember yet is like already. It's an adverb that we use with the present perfect. So we can't use the present perfect progressive here. On the other hand, we have, Grace has been working on her homework since 7 p.m. She began working on her homework at 7 p.m., and she is still working on it now. The present perfect progressive is a little tricky. It's often hard to tell the difference between the present perfect progressive and the present perfect. But these exercises in your textbook should help you understand the difference. Please do exercise 29 on page 99 and exercise 33 on page 102 for homework.